Aubrey here. Today I'm doing the Eureka Math Grade 4, Module 3, Lesson 6, Homework. So let's get started. Represent the following problem by drawing this in the place value chart. Alright, so number one we have to solve 30 times 60, think 3 tens times 6 equals 10. So breaking apart the number to multiply the um, 3 and the 6 first, the 30 and the 6, and then to multiply by 10 at the end. So we're thinking like 3 tens times 6. 3 tens is 3 in the tens place. And times 6. That means there's 6 of these groups. So we have 1 group. 2. 3. 4. 5 and 6. So I have 6, so we have 3 tens times 6. But then we're not done yet. Now at the end, this is times 10. So we're multiplying by 10, we're just moving everything one place value to the um, left. So we take all this and we move it to the hundreds place, which is now... So now we have 6 groups of the 3s. And if we do that, now we have 18 hundreds, which is written as 18 and hundreds, that's two zeros at the end. So 1,800. And here, 30 times 6 times 10, that's the same. So 1,800. That means 30 times 60 is 1,800. Number two says draw an area model to represent 30 times 60. So an area model just draw it like this. We have 30 and then 60. 30 times 60. Think of it as 3 tens times 6 tens. That's 18. But notice how it's tens and tens. But here we won't write tens. We'll write hundreds. And that is because if you actually take a little 10, multiply by 10, times 10, 10, 10 times 10 is 100. So it's 18 hundreds which is 1,800. <clears throat> All right, and number three, draw an area model to represent <clears throat> 20 times 20. So 20 times 20. <laughs> 20 times 20, think of it as two tens times two tens, that's four, but it's not tens, it's hundreds. Because 10 times 10 is 100. So 400 would just be 400. So 20 times 20 is 400. All right, and then next page. Number four, draw an area model to represent 40 times 60. Well, 40 times 60, think of it as four tens, because 40 is four tens, times six tens. So that is 24. And 10 times 10 is 100, so it's 24 hundreds, which we're written as 24, and at the two zeros because of hundreds, so 2,400. 40 times 60 is 2,400. All right, rewrite each equation in unit form and solve. Number five, 50 times 20. So think of it as 50 is five tens times 20 is two tens. Five times two is 10. And 10 times 10 is 100, so we have 10 hundreds, that's 1,000. All right, number 6, 30 times 50, that's 3 tens times 5 tens equals 15 hundreds. 15 hundreds, just write 15 and add the two zeros at the end, so your answer is 1,500. Number 7, 60 times 20. So that's 60 is 6 tens times 20, 2 tens. That's 2 tens. 6 times 2 is 12, and 10 times 10 is 100. So that's 12 hundreds. So I mean, 60 times 20 is 12, and you write the two zeros at the end because of hundreds. So your answer is 1,200. <coughs> 
All right, and number eight, 40 times 70. Think of it as four tens times seven tens. And that's four times seven is 28 hundreds. 28 hundreds, just write 28 and the two zeros at the end. That's 2,800. Number nine, there are 60 seconds in a minute and 60 minutes in an hour. How many seconds are in one hour? There's 60 minutes in an hour, 60 seconds in a minute. Then to find how many seconds are in an hour, we all, all we need to do is do 60 times 60, which is six tens times six tens equals six times six is 36. 10 times 10 is hundreds. So 36 hundreds, just write 36 and the two zeros at the end, 3,600. So that means there are 3,600 seconds in one hour. Our number 10, to print a comic book, 50 pieces, a paper are needed. How many pieces of paper are needed to print 40 comic books? So 50 in each book, comic book and there's 40. So 50 times 40. 50 is 5 tens times 40. That's 4 tens. 5 tens times 4. 5 times 4 is 20. 10 times 10 is 100. That's 20 hundreds. 20 hundreds the same as 2,000. So that means 2,000 pieces of paper are needed. Number 11. To print 40 comic books. There. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helps. And please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps on my channel. See you guys next time. Bye!